everyone, and welcome back into another episode of the Bet On Me podcast. Let me get up here next to the mic so you guys can hear me. How about that? Uh, it is Tuesday, May 16th, 2023, and we're going to talk about some NBA action tonight. Can't wait. Cannot. Cannot wait. So excited about this. Uh, we've got Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Denver Nuggets, and it's looking like Los Angeles on the road is a six and a half point dog. Uh, money line is sitting at plus two ten for the Lakers. Uh, the total is at two hundred and twenty two and a half. Uh, the Nuggets, of course, six and a half point favorite at home, minus two fifty five on the money line. It's looking like this is going to be a good one. I uh, I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that the Lakers cover that six and a half point spread. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't really think that, you know, the Nuggets run away with it. I think this series would be a lot closer than people think. But I do think uh, I'm I'm think I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think the Nuggets go on and win the um NBA championship this year. Uh I just think this is the year that they get it done. I think um you know, Jokic is he's He's insane. He's a freak of nature, if you will. He the way he plays and just acts like he doesn't give a shit. It's it's hilarious. Um, you know, he races like horses and carts. Like it's it, the, the man's fucking insane. And then he comes over here in our country, and and you know after he goes home, and he just comes over here to America, and he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna go out here and win MVP after MVP. And I know he didn't win the MVP this year. But I think making it to the finals would be a better consolation uh, if if not winning a championship um, be way better than winning another MVP and not being able to go to the big show. But we all know that the MVP this year uh, it wasn't too happy about, you know, the help that he has on the court. At least uh, Joel Embiid expressed that. He expressed that pretty uh, deeply. And, um, you know, he didn't get in too much into it, but also I'd like to add that, you know, he made sure not to throw uh, James Harden under the bus as he threw everybody else under the bus. Uh, you know, Doc Rivers being fired after that, everybody's upset about all that. Doc Rivers is a great coach, you know, um, he's won championships. So we know, we know exactly, uh, what Doc Rivers is capable of, but I think that, and I tweeted about this after the game and, and a few days after. Uh, I think Joel Embiid, the best thing that he can do and what he needs to reflect on is uh, figuring out how to stop Jason Tatum putting fucking 51 on that ass. Like, Jesus Christ, anybody watch that game? I mean, I I had Tatum, um, He I had a parlay, like a long rebounds, points, assist parlay, and uh, he had like 12 or 13 rebounds and it busted my shit because I had him going under. 11 and a half. I didn't think he would get that many, uh, but damn. He had like 51 points and like 13 rebounds, fucking like five assists or some shit. He was, he was killing it. Uh, Jason Tatum definitely was insane that night, just hitting so many threes. I don't even know how many threes he hit that night. Uh, it was so fucking many, but yeah, I think that's what Embiid needs to do. He needs to uh, go back to the drawing board and figure out the process of uh, stopping Jason Tatum because, um, that was brutal. That was brutal. That was a good game, though. That was a good game to watch. I'm glad I actually uh, sat there and watched that game. Now, uh, like I said, we got the game tonight. I got a couple of parlays over on the Discord, uh, posting a few picks over on Cabertech. Link down below in the description. Link down below in the description for the Discord. All the plays uh, are normally <clears> – <throat> all the free plays are normally posted – on the discord and on all the social and you can get vip plays over on the discord and the vip discord link is down below in the description for that get seven days free uh free trial when you sign up for the vip discord so go check that out link is down below in the description of this video on the youtube and if you're listening on apple podcasts greatly appreciate that uh been trying to catch up on the episodes uh we're a few behind so we're going to get caught back up on them. Anyway, let's jump in and talk about last night's game uh, between the 
Dallas Stars and the Seattle Kraken. Sorry, I had a, I won a, a parlay last night, plus 207, under five and a half goals, Dallas Stars on the money line. Uh, just thought Dallas would get it done, thought they were the better team uh, coming in. You know, they, I think they're like one of the top score, like with Edmonton, Edmonton was one of the top scoring uh, teams in the league, and I think Dallas was like right behind them. And uh, last night, I know uh, they got a goal from one of their stars. Uh, the Dallas Stars did. Um, they uh, they showed to me they showed that they were the better team. I, I I think honestly they could go and possibly possibly win it all. I I don't know. It's it's either going to be Florida. It's going to be Florida and Dallas. I think, but that's just my opinion. Um, stars and Golden Knights. The Golden Knights could win it. Uh, I, I've been pulling for Florida storming here real bad. I've been pulling for Florida to uh get it done for quite a while now. But, you know, it is what it is. These teams that are left, it's going to be insane. It really is. I'm trying to look up. Yeah, there it goes. Hines, isn't it? That's his name. Hines. Yeah. Heinz. Hints, hints. I can't. I don't. You know, I'm terrible at this. I need. I need to stop trying to pronounce people's names. Rup Heints, I think, is how you pronounce his name. Uh, it's from Finland. Uh, I remember he came out and hit that first goal. Twenty six years old, six three, two hundred fifty pounds of solid fucking muscle out there on the ice for the Dallas Stars, just destroying it. Got that first goal for him. Uh, it was amazing uh, to watch that game. The Kraken got a goal. Uh, Kraken got a goal, but um, you know, wasn't enough. Um, but if you had the uh, plus one for the Kraken there, I think that was like minus one seventy. That was pretty, pretty steep odds there. So I mean, you know, pretty obvious who was going to win the game. Didn't think uh they would go. I didn't think any more points would be scored after that, or sorry, any more goals would be scored after that. Uh, puck slapping in there, but yeah, the Stars they they got another one, and. Yeah, Johnston got one, and, yeah, the Kraken got them one. So, you know, all in all, it was a great game. Uh, we got games tonight I've rambled on. Like I said, uh, taking the uh, taking the Lakers on the point spread plus six and a half, I just think that's too much. I don't think the Lakers are going to come out and play shitty at all. I think it's I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be a really good series. I think it probably goes to six, and I think that the Denver Nuggets take it. So, let's see what happens. We're about an uh, hour and a half away from the tip-off. We got baseball going. Like I said, go over and check out the bets over on CapperTech.com and use all those tools they have over there to get your bets in. Uh, also available in the App Store, iOS, Google Play, all that stuff. You can get the app right on your phone and use all these tools and not even be on the laptop. Also, check out all the plays over on the Discord. Link is down below in the description. And follow us on the Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Links are all down below in the description for all the social media. Everyone, let's have a great day. Let's watch some uh, NBA playoffs. And let, let's let's have a great night. I'm going to have a great night. I'm looking so forward to this. This is this is amazing. All right. Let's all, let's all have a good night. Let's win some damn money out there. All right. My Predators will be back. 